We had the guy come plow us like three different times and it was in all in the span of like 24 hours. It was a lot. It was a lot. It was back in early February of 2013. Maine hit by winter storm Nemo. Remember that one? Dumped between two and three feet of snow in southern and central Maine. The town of Gorham, which you see right there, the jackpot, nearly 36 inches 10 years ago. So with climate change affecting so many other aspects of our weather, are storms like that one more or less likely in the future? We asked meteorologist Keith Carson to try to answer that question as part of our ongoing series on Maine's changing climate. The data shows that global temperatures have been warming since the early 1900s. Here in Maine, we aren't immune from that trend. The average temperature in Portland has risen about four degrees since the 1940s. In Bangor, there's been about a three degree rise since the 1950s, and caribou clocks in with a four degree rise as well. That's the big picture on temperatures, but what about snow? Is climate change causing Maine to receive less snow than in the past? The answer may surprise you. Let's start with Portland. Not the snowiest area in Maine to be sure, but home to some of the best snowfall data in the state. Right away, you can see there's basically no trend in snowfall from November 1st to April 15th each year. Now, I use those dates because meteorological winter is technically December 1st through March 1st, but that in no way encapsulates our winter in Maine. Moving north to Bangor, you'll see there's actually a slight uptick in snowfall amounts, although the line fit is far from perfect. But we can say with some confidence there's no measurable decline in snowfall amounts there. Finally, let's take a look at caribou. Here also, we're going to see a modest upward trend in total snowfall. How could this be? How can a warming planet lead to flat or increased snowfall amounts? The answer is multifaceted. Perhaps most importantly in Maine, our winter temperatures are sufficiently cold that even an increase in average temperatures doesn't put us above freezing for most winter storms. That's especially true in Caribou and Bangor. Eventually, that will no longer be true. A study by the University of Vermont found that downhill skiing will be viable here until about 2050. That rough approximation holds for most of Maine as temperature profiles are quite similar. The other reason there hasn't been a steep decline in snowfall amounts yet is because our sea surface temperatures are routinely way above average during the winter. That increase in ocean warmth allows more moisture to be introduced to our coastal storms and nor'easters. For each 1.8 degree increase in temperatures, the air can hold about 7% more moisture. So as long as temperatures can sneak to freezing, that extra moisture can come out in the form of big snow. Now, all is not well when it comes to winter sports in general as the climate warms. The increase in average temperatures has led to later ice in and earlier ice out times in most New England lakes and ponds. And while snow totals may be similar, many recent winters have featured rainstorms and thaws in between the storms leading to a reduction in snowpack depth and length of snowpack season. So as our climate warms, eventually Maine will receive significantly less snow. But for now, a big winter is still very much in the cards in any given year.